Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Report. I'm Mike Severo with City Communications and here are the top three things you should know this week. The mayor announced the 14th emergency COVID-19 order. Masks are no longer required outdoors or in private indoor spaces where social distancing of at least six feet can be maintained. Masks are still required in all indoor spaces of public accommodation. All business facilities, including restaurants and taverns, are allowed to operate at full capacity, provided mask guidelines are followed. The mayor announced a new tiny house project that will provide housing and services for the unhoused. By adapting the tiny homes trend, the city will create a village with individual cabins to provide emergency transitional housing for the unhoused, along with other social services. This actually replaces that whole tent atmosphere of living in the woods or living in a park or somewhere else in the city. Um, you know, those aren't safe spaces, they're not lockable spaces, they're not dry and weatherproof, those kind of things. So by giving them a stable home 24 hours a day and then having lockable doors, windows, heat, AC, lighting, basically we're just replacing the entire idea of living out of a tent and giving them a safe space. Remember way back in 2017 when KC voters approved $800 million in bonds to fund capital improvements projects? Well, the city is still hard at work on these projects. Improvements at the Shoto Parkway and I-35 interchange are underway and will be completed next year. So Shoto Parkway is a four-lane parkway, so we have two lanes on uh, each direction. But under the bridge, there's only one through lane. The inside lane becomes a left turn lane. So we have a two-lane system going to one-lane system. So the pro this project will also add an additional uh, through lane under bridge, so that we're going to eliminate that bottleneck on Shoto Parkway under the bridge. So if you look at it now, you know we have a very nice 10-foot uh, wide trail system on Shoto Parkway. But on the other side of uh, uh, Moda I-35 bridge, uh, there's a you know additional trail system. But under the bridge, you know there's just nothing, no sidewalk and no nothing. So this project will will essentially eliminate the barrier, which is the I-35 bridge. You know we're going to add a trail under the bridge, so that our residents can walk and bike all the way from 210 to uh, a Penguin Park, you know, to a Lakewood Greenway. The parkway, as you see, that's the 10 foot part. Uh, the, 10 foot multi-use trail system that's on Shoto Parkway. So construction started just a few weeks ago and uh, construction is expected to complete by uh, spring of next year. And those traffic signals, you know, those are uh, over 60 years old and uh, they're uh, substandard and they're not reliable anymore. So we're going to replace those uh, traffic signals with the new uh, standard signals. Uh, another thing is because that bridge is uh, owned by Moda, it's a Moda bridge. So this is a uh, really collaboration between the city and Moda. Uh, we uh, worked with Moda and then they were putting like a million dollars towards this project. Thanks for watching the Weekly Report. I'm Mike Severo with City Communications and stay tuned for more great city videos. Hi, I'm Heather Frierson with KC Water and I'm standing here on Main Street where crews are hard at work on our upgrades on Main project. Now this project aims to improve and replace century-old infrastructure along Main. That means new water mains, sewers, but there will be other utilities, at least 15 others on Main doing the same thing. We just want to remind drivers out there to be patient and be cautious and pay attention. Workers are out here doing their best for the future of KC, and we all want to get home safely. So please drive safe. What's up everybody, this is Wesley Hamilton. I'm the executive director of the Disabled But Not Really Foundation. We are here at Ivanhoe Park on 43rd in Brooklyn in Kansas City, Missouri. About a year ago, this park was renovated. So I'm excited to share with you some of the new amenities that this park actually has. This park has two parts. You have a higher and a lower end to the park. So I want you to be mindful that the parking, especially the accessible parking, is gonna be on our upper end, more toward the shelter. Come in on the north end of this park. Make sure that you pay attention to where the accessible parking is. 
there are curb cuts so it allows you to get out the car on either end this park includes a basketball court softball fields and even a playground that is accessible the best way to access the playground or any of the amenities on the lower end of this park would be to park on the corners closer to a stop sign so that you can access the sidewalk easily. I would like to highlight that the playground has been resurfaced. So it, it is very accessible to those with mobility issues and those that are in wheelchairs. So make sure that if you do want to participate, it is accessible and inclusive to you. This park also includes a walking, rolling trail. I would have to advise you that there are challenges depending on what part of this park you are at. But if you really want the challenge, I recommend you hit the trail rolling. So this shelter is first come, first serve. What is good about this shelter is that it does have four picnic tables. To my recommendation, two of them are more accessible, but they are making changes, which I am very excited about. There is a porter potty that is wheelchair accessible, so any and everybody can use the bathroom. Another good thing about this shelter, it is right next to the accessible parking. So if you want to be able to hang out with family and friends and don't have the means to go down to the actual amenities of the playground or basketball court, just make sure you park by this shelter. Thank you guys for checking out another KC Park. Make sure you use the trash cans that are accessible to you. Pick up any trash that you see. Sanitize the areas when you leave them. We want to make sure that it is very COVID friendly and safe. And we want to make sure that our parks are just clean and beautiful because that's what they are here for. Come check out our parks. This is where KC plays. I am Wesley Hamilton. See you at the next one.